Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. You can see remnants of our Easter and birthday party weekend, which if you didn't see uh, my last video where Everly turned one and we celebrated Easter, go ahead and check that out. But today I'm coming at you with a video that I like to watch because I'm nosy. <laughs> um, today I'm gonna show you how my fridge is organized. Last night, Zach went to Walmart and stocked up on a freezer and fridge items, so I had some time last night to go ahead and organize everything, and right now, while it's still stocked, I figured it'd be a good time to show you. So, if you are nosy like myself and you want to see what's in my fridge, stay tuned. Alright, I got the shelf fixed. So this is my freezer. Uh, I just have a double door fridge here and on the front of the door it's got like the water and ice maker. Uh, but in the door I just have some ice packs. Uh, Zach and I typically work, work outside the home so we do use ice packs frequently for, to bring lunches to work. These ice packs are from uh, when we got our teeth like removed. They're from dental work and we just save them for ouch. Um, boo-boos that the kids get and then we also like to freeze some glasses for drinks and who doesn't have fireball in their freezer I don't know and so in the main compartment here we've obviously got our ice maker up here and then on the top shelf we have actually on the top shelf and then this shelf are all things that we're currently using so they're things that are opened and we can't forget to use so we've got some dairy-free um, Ben and Jerry's, two cartons of that. And then I've got some opened meatballs and some opened wild blueberries. And then on the second shelf of opened items, we have waffles, uh, two different kinds of chicken nuggets. I really like these. I've taken a couple bites here and there, but they are kind of spicy, like the, the pepper on the breading is spicy. So um, be cautious of those if you're gonna get them for your kiddos. We have some more frozen berries, and then I have um, some green giant uh, cauliflower, blended cauliflower. And there goes the alarm for the door. Push, push. Don't want that on. Okay, and now coming down here to the third shelf, I've we've got a bunch of vegetables that we just got last night. So green beans, broccoli, Brussels sprouts are back here. Um, we've also got some tater tot rounds and some frozen dinner rolls. And then here is just some more uh, riced cauliflower. And then on the bottom we've got another frozen glass here for drinks. I promise we don't drink that much, but <laughs> these are just what we like to have in the freezer, I guess. Um, we've got some popsicles. I have two Quest pizzas. One's a Supreme and one's a pepperoni. Zach picked up some jumbo coconut shrimp. Him and Kennedy love those. And then we've also got some frozen pork chops. Uh, we also have some additional meat in our deep freezer, which I can show you after I'm done with the fridge. But that concludes what we have in our freezer upstairs. Moving on to our fridge, I will start with what's in the door. So up here in the butter compartment, I am a type one diabetic, so this is like the go-to spot for housing insulin. So these are all my fast-acting Humalogs, and then I have some backup Lantus on, um, I was gonna say on site, <laughs> uh, handy just in case for some reason my insulin pump goes down and I need some long-acting. I've got some there, and it is not expired yet, so. Then what I did last night is I rearranged, you see we have a lot of condiments here, but I rearranged and put any that are keto-friendly or low-carb on top. So I don't have to scavenge the whole door for what I can actually use. So I'll just go through my keto ones. But I've got my G. Hughes sugar-free barbecue sauce and my G. Hughes sugar-free honey mustard back there. I've also got sugar-free red raspberry preserves and some chicken wing sauce, mustard, taco sauce, Tabasco, Ken Davis has a low-carb sauce as well. It's got two grams of carbs in it, so this is the barbecue sauce. And then my Ken's Steakhouse uh, Ranch. Everything else in the door is for the rest of the family, with the exception of I can have Parmesan cheese, and I can have this jalapeno lime 
sauce, but otherwise it's just like ketchup and regular jam and regular barbecue sauce. Down here, I keep the syrup. Our family does use sugar-free because any chance that we can to eliminate, you know, all the excess sugar, we'll take it. Um, and I like to keep it down here because Kennedy likes to take it out and help set the table sometimes. Um, we've got like teriyaki, sriracha, spaghetti sauce, another thing of taco sauce, more hot sauce, soy sauce. Down here we have rice vinegar, Thousand Island for Zach's salads, yum yum sauce, boom boom shrimp sauce, which is so good. It's just a little bit higher in carbs. Got five grams of carbs for two tablespoons. Um, and then some more teriyaki sauce. So obviously our door is full of um, sauce and condiments. Now I'll show you the inside. So the way I have the inside organized is that the top shelf is for all of our beverages. The second shelf is for anything that we're currently working on like leftovers. Because I found that in the past, because leftover containers are not so pretty, I would put them into the drawers to hide them, but when they're hidden, we don't eat them and we end up throwing them away. So I always keep all of our leftovers right here at eye level so that we remember to finish them. So I've got ham. I made some chicken soup yesterday, which we're gonna eat for lunch today. Extra chicken, some onion that we have cut up. Yesterday I opened up a can of corn, so we're gonna finish that off for lunch today too. And then we're also working on an applesauce and I've got pickles and mayo and salsa back there that wouldn't fit in the door. On the top shelf for beverages right now, I've got a really old bottle of wine back there that I need to get rid of. Some whole milk that we were trying to give to Everly to transition her off of formula. Um, whipped cream for my coffee and this heavy whipping cream which is almost gone so I've got a backup here. And then in the second row, we've just got some beer. Zach likes to drink beer, I'm not a beer drinker, but these were what was left of his Bud Light. Um, we've got some Gatorade Zeros here that he also picked up last night. He's got a red, a blue, and an orange. And then we've got two cartons of Kennedy's almond milk. I'll show you this shelf, and then I'll go into what's in my drawers. So obviously this shelf is kind of empty and self-explanatory, but just got a fresh thing of eggs here We've got some sugar-free jellos and some oranges. So again, I like to keep things that Kennedy can grab at her height. That way, if she wants a snack, she can come into the fridge and grab them. I'm getting into the drawers. So my first drawer here has uh, like dairy products in it. So I've got some yogurt in here. I've got um, the Southwest Marzetti's Ranch that I will use with carrots or broccoli got some mixed minced garlic we've got some opened pepper jack cheese and an opened um, cream cheese here and then we have uh, butter this is the kind of butter that Zach and Kennedy have to eat because they're lactose intolerant so this one's almost gone so he picked up this one yesterday at Walmart and then again cheese and dairy products so here's cheese that he got and we've got butter back here and then we've got two things of crescent rolls. So this is kind of like a dairy cheese butter drawer. Our second drawer is our produce drawer. So any produce that has to be refrigerated, we'll put in here. Um, right now we have mushrooms, fresh broccoli, and we've got two bags of the classic iceberg lettuce got some carrots that I used for that soup that I mentioned so we can use these up and we've got some celery and then this is the bag of lettuce that we're currently working on and then on this side I have some fruit so I've got blueberries raspberries and strawberries so what I'll do is I'll probably rinse all these I'll cut them up and put them in a bowl and then I'll actually transition those to this shelf so we see them and we remember to eat them And the bottom drawer. So this is what we're using for our meat that we're planning on eating for the week. So Zach bought quite a bit of meat yesterday that again, I will go down and show you uh, what he got. And it's in the deep freezer. But um, this week we're gonna have little Smokies at Kennedy's request. 
We always keep hot dogs out just because they're simple and easy for lunches. We'll give Kennedy the beef ballpark since Zach and I enjoy the ambassadors. Tonight we're going to be making um, this pork loin filet and this is Creole flavored. And then we also have bacon down there. So anything that we know we're going to eat for the week, uh, we'll try and pull out and put in here to start thawing. So that's everything for our fridge and our freezer upstairs. And next, I'll just run downstairs and show you what we have in our deep freeze. All right, so this is our deep freezer. It's fairly large. We just have it in our storage room in our basement. It is a Frigidaire. We got this from Zach's dad as a housewarming present. And to be honest, we haven't really had a lot to fill it up ever. Um, so this is like the most full it's ever been. Meat is expensive and filling a freezer like this up would be very expensive. So right now we've just got some items here in the door. We have broccoli, green beans, and Brussels sprouts. And then over here we have on the top some top sirloin steak. We've got a large rack of Smithyfield ribs. Smithfield, sorry, ribs. Um, we have some frozen corn back there. I think that's pretty old, so we probably shouldn't use that. Um, fresh ground pork. We have another one of the pork loins. This one, though, is Asiago peppercorn. And then on the second shelf, we just have a turkey. <laughs> we won a free one from our local grocery store, um, and we've just not made it yet. We have a pack of chicken thighs over here. And we also have some ground beef. And then we have some prime rib burgers. These are so good. If you guys are in the market for some good hamburgers, these are the ones to pick. These are from Walmart. We love these. So, so that's everything. All right, guys, so that's everything from our deep freezer and our fridge and freezer upstairs. If you have any questions where, um, about how we use any of the food, let us know. Uh, we don't make a whole lot of recipes, though. To be honest, we do just a lot of meat and vegetable type uh, meals. Fairly simple, especially with me being keto and Zach being dairy-free. Um, so that's it. I'm going to end it there. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.